Okay, so we're just gonna do a quick setup on the Daikin control unit. Um, when you first turn it on, it's gonna ask you what language you speak, so English, your time and date, put all that information in there, click the button, and it takes you to the next uh, menu. So when we come to the system menu, we've got indoor unit type and the unit already knows what it is. So we don't have to touch that setting. Next one down is our backup heater type. So whether we've got a backup heater or not, the backup heater is a optional extra. Some units don't come with them, but most of them will have. So just check before you fill that one out. Next setting is domestic hot water and we need to tell it what type of cylinder it's got. This particular unit has got the third party cylinder with a big coil, but it can be adjusted to a third party cylinder with a small coil, or if you've got one of the Dakin cylinders itself, it does give you some part numbers to choose. So if we go to third party, big coil, sorted. Next, we've got emergency. Emergency is if something goes wrong with the actual unit, um, it can go into a mode where it will run the backup heater and the booster heater purely on electric. Now the customer might not even know that anything's wrong with the system until they get a massive electric bills through. So we want this on manual. If it's on manual, what it will do is it will, won't kick in the backup heater if something goes wrong. So the actual uh, customer themselves will know that there's an issue and hopefully call us. Next we've got the number of zones. Nice and simple, how many zones we've got. We might have dual zones, a single zone. This particular setup's got one zone, so we're gonna leave it at that. Glycol, no for our systems. We don't like to use glycol, so that's always a no because we use the antifreeze valves. So click that as a no. Booster heater capacity. So most booster heaters or your immersions are around three kilowatts. Um, which is a standard size. Um, if it's different, you can adjust it and it goes down in points. Um, but we'll leave that at three. Bivalent. So what it's asking here is, have you got an additional heat source? So have you got another boiler fitted to the system um, so that it can run the heat pump or the boiler? Um, this one's a no, because we're just running on heat pump only. Click yes, and it takes you back down to your main zone. First question it's gonna ask, emitter type. So we can adjust this too. Have you got radiators? Have you got fan coil units, underfloor heating? We've gone for one zone. This particular unit has got underfloor heating. So I'm gonna set that at that. Oh, just letting it know what it's doing. Now we've got control. So on the controls, we can have an external room thermostat or room thermostat. Now the room thermostat itself is the Dakin Madoka unit, or if you're using a third party room stat, room stat, then we want obviously the external. So we'll leave that on there. Set point mode. Now we always want to leave this one on weather dependent. It's the most economical way to run our system. We can have it fixed, but weather dependent is gonna change whether it's cold outside and it needs more heat into the system or whether the weather's quite warm outside and it needs less heat into the system. The most efficient way to run this is with a weather dependent set point mode. Click that. Schedule, no, because we've told it we're using third party controls, which will be set up on the um, third party controls themselves. Next, we've got our weather dependent curve type. You can change this um, to slope offset or two points. We usually stick with the two points and we'll have a look at how to set that up on this one. So on this graph is telling us where our, our slope for our weather compensation is gonna go. So at 15 degrees, we're looking at 25 degrees um, flow temperature. And when it gets really cold, it's set to 35. So we can adjust this. We can move this one up. So when it's cold outside, we want the flow to be nice and warm. So we're gonna set that around 50 degrees. Obviously, depending on what type of system you've got and what your customer wants, you can, you can adjust this. Move down and we can change the temperature at which that comes in as well. So if it's very cold outside, we can adjust this. We're probably gonna go around minus 10 for a worst case scenario. So at 15 degrees, we've got 30, uh, 25 degree flow. And then at minus 10, we've got our 50 degree flow. Again, 
we can change this point too. So if it's warmer outside and you want your heater heating to come on, if it's 17 degrees, we can adjust this curve as it goes through. When you're happy with that, it will synchronize and then it's gonna ask us more about the hot water cylinder. Heat up mode, so got schedule or reheat and reheat. We can set it to schedule only, or we can set it to reheat only. Schedule is gonna come on when you ask it to come on, so we can set times for the hot water to heat up in the tank. Schedule and reheat will schedule a time to heat it up, and then it will keep that temperature throughout the day, that reheat, it's gonna, you know, uh, modulate that heat to keep it nice and warm all the time or we can have reheat only so that it gets up to temperature and it will keep that temperature 24 7 so you've always got a nice big stored hot water we generally go for the schedule so it's um, nice and economical heat up our tank sort of in the middle of the night when we don't need any uh, heating going because we can't run heating and hot water with a heat pump once you're happy with that click again and we've got comfort set point. And this is where we're gonna set how warm we want our water. And then we've got our eco set point. So eco is our economy mode, so we can have it at a lower temperature for that. Once we're happy with this, click again, and it gives us our view of our house, our heat pump outside, click okay, and it will synchronize with the unit. This sometimes takes some time. But once it's done that, you're all set up and there's, um, then you can play with it separately. Any other additional settings, or if you wanna um, purge the system, you can do that. Um, and there you go.